I skipped the celebration of Toronto's subway extension to York University in Vaughan last weekend. Finishing 10 kilometers of subway in over 30 years didn't seem that festive. I know people who've been hired and retired at York in that span. They won't ever get to ride it. Addis Ababa in Ethiopia built 32 kilometers of LRT in just four years, with China's help. Toronto subways are embarrassing. The map is nice, but you don't need a map for something that puny. Centerville on Toronto Island is trickier to navigate. It's like the downtown rail deck park. Great concept, but does anyone think it'll actually happen within any of our lifetimes? Or the lonely windmill down at the CNE built 15 years ago. It was supposed to be the first of thousands, but it doesn't even work anymore. What's lacking in Toronto is impatience, leaders who simply can't stand waiting around. There's inspiration in Chicago's former mayor, Richard Daly. He wanted to get rid of an island airport in Lake Michigan and put something else there. It dragged on, so one night at midnight, he sent bulldozers over and plowed up the runways. It was quasi-illegal, but they sorted that out. I like our island airport, that's not my point. It's the relief of finally doing something large for your city. Can you think of anything Mayor Tory would be willing to risk a midnight, possibly illegal act for just to get it done? If you asked him, he'd say, I'll have to get back to you on that in 30 or 40 years. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.